My name is Danielle Haim. I'm a teacher here at Vera School. I've been here for 13 years now and we've been using Smart and Lumio in our class for over a year. Can I, can I show you? It's in this year. Some of the features that I make use of the most um, for their engagement is, in, one in particular in Lumio is um, the monster quiz. They absolutely love it. There's two or three kids in my class that really struggle with reading and this was something that, and they didn't want help when an adult offered their help for reading. And this built their self-esteem so much, not only to ask for help, but to accept the help. And also they've started to learn the words, so it's a way for them to learn sight words, to answer those questions. And again, that, comp like that competitive nature from them came out. So that was really lovely. So our classes have all different types of devices in their classes. So we're not limited to just one type. And what we noticed was, again, with the generalization, they often were okay on the iPads, and then when I moved them over to the computer, then I saw that the generalization, also the typing, now we've got the, the keyboard in, um, which is a different aspect now as well. So we had to, so to change it up a bit, what I do is I let them use different devices every day so that they get, they can use the browser and they can use Lumio um, on different devices throughout the day. So technology in general, it bring you know it grabs their attention, like our kids immediately. Um, I find it difficult when it's just paperwork or bookwork. It's not always very meaningful for our learners as well. So to use technology in that way, and Smart offers the different features where you can even something like the screen shade you can take away from the one side, to so that they're attending to what you want them to look at. Um, and there's lovely even just the sounds that you can add to um, your lessons or the games that are included in there. Those, all of those features make a huge difference in helping them attend because there's a reason and it's a fun reason for them to be learning. Well, what I like about it is doing monster quiz and answering questions and learning about strangers and safer strangers and doing word searches about everything in real life. I'm Yonita Roosh and I'm a teacher at Vera School for Learners with Autism and I've been here for 10 years. So at school we follow a very individualized approach to our learning and education where we use every learner's strength to help them support their difficulties. And we do this through incorporating their special interests accompanied by adapted and tailored autism specific strategies and approaches and lots and lots of social and independent lessons. In our classrooms we keep everything very visual and we try and be as structured as possible as learners with autism really flourish through structure and routine. So what makes these lessons really engaging and exciting for our kids is it also taps into what we stand for very firmly here and that's independence and to practice their skills not only in, a, in an environment where they're supported but outside of school and that's what we want for them one day. So the one thing I wasn't expecting was actually the social connection and engagement with our kids. I, that's really the last thing that was on my mind. I was more focused on how to inclusively manage all of their needs and address all their needs. So during the games they were helping one another and they were getting up and asking if the other one, other person was finished and something that our kids really battle with is theory of mind and that's the ability to put yourself in another person's shoes. So for them to wait for one, for their friend and not get annoyed with them because maybe there's an activity that they find a bit more difficult, they've shown a lot of patience to, you know, for, for one another and just understanding which is something I did not expect at all. Um, and also just to compliment one another and encourage each other because so I noticed with your typical games that they were playing online they could be quite nasty to one another and I think it was that you know not knowing that it would actually hurt their feelings or the other person's feelings and this way they're all experiencing the same thing at the same time and when they've got that shared experience then they can feel what it's like to either succeed or to find something more difficult and they were helping each other with that which was really really lovely to see. Lemio is awesome!